Uh, Mary Grumble, miss. LJN, no. LJN. Marvel software. Bits? Oh, yeah. Or bit half ass? Wolverine. We're, uh, we're playing a game that I, uh, I both love and hate at the same time. Wow, we're getting funky with Wolverine Adamant Ad Adamantium Rage. Okay. Adamantium Rage, yes. I almost pronounced that Adam Antium like the singer, Wolverine. you know. <laughs> yeah, I caught that. Uh, getting all funky now. I do love this game. Uh, I also hate it because it is just really fucking hard. Like, impossible to beat hard. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, not impossible. But I'm certain there's people who've done it, but uh, they're not me. <laughs> That's why I never did a Let's Scramble on it. Let's get this game going. The X-Men Mansion headquarters, home of Wolverine. Yeah, just Wolverine, eh? Yep. None of the other X-Men, just Wolverine. One of us is gonna have to give up, computer. And it ain't gonna be me, bub. <laughs> yeah. I see we have 90s Wolverine with the uh, blue and yellow oh, costume. Oh, I just skipped everything. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, don't worry, folks. There wasn't much of a story. Yeah, it's just Wolverine uh, calling tech support, and tech support couldn't help him, so he used his adamantium claws against the computer screen. Pretty much. I was under the assumption that I had to hit buttons to progress something, but no, it just moves that slow. Mm. Now, one of the cool things about this, as opposed to most other Wolverine games I've played, is uh, your health does regenerate. Very slowly. Oh my god, does it regenerate slowly. So, that 15 left means that I have to kill 15 more enemies. Ooh. To progress to the next section. Oh, yuck. We have a quota. Yeah. I hate and, quotas. Uh, believe me, it's going to suck to try to kill that many enemies. It always does. I will admit, though, when he, when he uh, gets his claws out, it makes a very nice metallic sound. Yeah. The, uh, this game is a goddamn nightmare when it comes to controls, by the way. It's LJN, what do you expect? The only reason that I'm doing like halfway like reasonable right now is because I, I kind of did a, a little bit of a practice run. Well, those... Just to remember the controls. Yeah, just, and you realized how sticky they actually are. Yeah. Then every, every surface in this game is like a block of ice. Yes, every level is an ice level. <laughs> they coated all the platforms in Crisco. This is one of those games where it suffers from having too much control. That's rare. Yeah. All right, everybody up. Oh. Or down. Oh, but uh, you might be asking, why the hell do you like this game if you bitch about it constantly? Well, that's kind of a normal thing if you haven't paid attention, but... Uh, <laughs> I tend to I tend to constantly complain about the games that I do that I do actually like, but uh, with this game, it's uh, it's kind of a long story. For one, I, I'm a bit of a Wolverine fan, uh, or at least I was when I was a kid in the '90s. Yeah. And, um, the blue and yellow Wolverine, like you see here. Everyone was a Wolverine <laughs> fan back then, though. So, but the the key thing about this is that. Uh, this game has, like, a lot of Wolverines, like... Well, believe it or not, I mean, it's, some people who are, like, maybe comic fans will know this, but Wolverine kind of have, has his own has his own rogues gallery. Hmm, yeah, same or There's a lot of good ones in this. Like, they have uh, Lady Deathstrike, ah. Cyber, and uh, Bloodscream. Hmm. A lot of the F-lister villains that you've probably never heard of. Oh, and by the way, uh, for those fans of Logan, uh, Donald Pierce is not in this, so fuck Donald Pierce. <laughs> but does... Yes, I am uh, one of the rare people who thought that the Logan movie sucked. I was going to ask if High Fructose Corn Syrup was a villain in this game. <laughs> no, High Fructose Corn Syrup is not one of the enemies you have to fight in this. Oh, thank God. Thank God for that. Although, in the Sega Genesis version, you do have to go against Albert, from what I understand. Albert? Albert was a, uh, android version of Wolverine. 
Okay. And in the Logan movie, there was a missed opportunity to have him in it because it was very close. Mm. But um, in the movie Logan, uh, you know how he has to fight his evil clone? Yeah. They could have made him. Uh, they could have made that evil clone, um, Albert, if they if they just would have rewritten it a little bit better. But they didn't, and I think that's one of the things that pisses me off. It was a it was a missed opportunity to actually have like a, a commonly known. I shouldn't say commonly known, but one of Wolverine's regular rogues gallery villains. You know. Yeah, another piece of the lore. Yeah. Instead, we got fucking Donald Pierce, which don't get me wrong does have an appearance in the comics, but it is almost literally a nobody. Mm. You and I had to ask you who he was. Also weird about this game, uh, no Sabertooth. Really? Yeah, no Sabertooth. Just like Logan, no Sabertooth. Huh. But, um... No, it has an interesting, uh... has an interesting group of, uh, enemies in this game. Uh, I think the final boss of the game is, um... Uh, Sebastian Shaw or Shinobi Shaw, I can't remember which. Hmm. But, uh, no, no, I take that back. The, the boss of this game, I actually have gotten to it. But, uh, it's so much of a motherfucker that, uh, I couldn't beat it. Alright, going up the elevator. The it's world's like slowest elevator. Great Beast or something like that. I don't know what it is, but, uh... Down we go. I always love the fact that Wolverine can climb walls just by stabbing his claws through them. I'd hate to be the uh, maintenance guy who had to repair the wall after Wolverine was in there. He'd be like, God damn it, Logan, not again. I'm running, I'm running out of patch. Yes, here's a perfect example of this game's shit uh, hit detection. Yeah. But at least our health will come back. Slowly. Someday. Music's getting, like right here, stab, 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 stab. Yeah. Even all the maintenance guys just trying to patch all the holes. <laughs> Oof. Oh, yeah, yeah, room with nothing in it. Thank God for that. Yeah, I think that's a regen room. You just have to sit in there and I don't know. He, let's see, it's his 90s. He probably, like, plays Game Boy or something. <laughs> All right, I gotta be this level of Tetris, bub. Gotta be level nine, bub. Get the castle. The thing about this game, though, is like when I had it when I was younger. Um, I had it, but uh, it was one of those games that I was stuck with. Oh. Because it's all like, well, you know, you can, you can either play this or you can go outside. So. <laughs> And, uh, I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'll, I'll just keep trying to play this, I guess. Oh, a computer. I think there's something about that computer that I have to worry about, so I'm going to leave that alone for now. I got to call tech support, bub. Deal with those Comcast idiots, bub. Wait, Comcast probably wasn't around then. <laughs> See, early 90s would probably be... I do with those IBM idiots, bub. No, can't do that. Nope, just gotta keep climbing up the wall. Hope for the best. Oh, finally, you got that door open. Oh. And we're back in here. Ow! Stop hitting things at me, bud. I'm just trying to destroy your machine generator, bud. Boy, and they thought drones were annoying nowadays. Good lord! There we go. Also, sadly not in this game, uh, another uh, Wolverine regular that I, I really liked was uh, No Omega Red. No, really? No. Huh. You know, Omega Red's one of my like all-time favorite... Uh... Yeah, because Omega Red was in our X-Men's Legends 2 review. Oh, that's right, we, we, we talked about this already. Yeah, I, I love Omega Red, he's cool. Yeah. Because, you know, you're fresh and breath longer with Omega Red. So kiss a little longer. Hold tight a little longer. Be a bad guy a little longer. Longer with Omega Red. God damn, those things are okay. <laughs> and 
Yeah, since there's never been an Alpha Flight game ever made, and, uh, this is probably the closest I have to oh, a game that has characters I really like in it. So, of the, I guess of the X Men variety. Hmm. I guess you gotta take what you can get. <laughs> oh, God damn it. It's like walking up a down escalator, huh? I gotta deal with these feebs. There, I'm gonna do this again. Oh, God damn it, bud. No, can't get him. Okay, I'll just get him up here then, bud. Let these bullet holes heal, bud. Problem is, is like. A respawned enemy does not count. Of course not. And good luck figuring out which of these enemies you've already taken out and which ones you haven't. I can't even get those guys. And there might be a way, who knows, but uh... Oh yeah, that's right, there's a, there's a super jump, I forgot about that. And it's, it's like a cat trying to get at a piece of string, you know? Boing! Well, that did not work. Good thing, uh, uh, Wolverine has feather fall. Also, gotta love the fact that that wallpaper looks like something out of Windows 95. Look, we need a wallpaper for this game. There we go. Ah. Down we go. I think I gotta take out this computer. I think this might be a timed event. Oh, Jesus. Yep. 30, uh, 30 some odd seconds, let's go. Oh, the music's getting really funky now. There we go. Phew. Oh, I guess that's the end of the level. All right. Uh, you got that. You got that password jotted down, right? No. Yeah, close enough. Oh, we're to a boss, I think. Yeah, cause I see a heart level. Whap, whap, whap. That's right. You just hit my obvious weak spot while honey drips from the walls. Well, this, uh, I'm, I'm getting my ass kicked. Lucky for me, Wolverine's a healer. Of himself. It's very Mega Manish, this, uh, level oh, set. Dang it. Yep, we're just, honey's just dripping from the walls, you know. We're at the honey factory. Yep. Yeah, break dance, Wolverine. Yeah. Break dance, 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 dance. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is pretty much what it was like playing this game when I was, uh, you know, a kid. Oh, down the honey. Oh damn it again! <laughs> Son of cat. a bitch. All right. Yeah, I'm a kitty cat. I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. Wolverine, I'm a Wolverine, and I shimmy, 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 and I shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> I'm certain this is riveting for the folks at home, you know, watching me. Uh, fucking dance around with Wolverine, but Look this, at the is, uh, this is how you get your health back. I mean, I could just sit here, I suppose, but... Look at all the cool stuff I can do. My outfit's here in yellow and blue. I'm Wolverine. I'm Wolverine. No, the no, biggest X-Man right. you've ever seen. I, I'm Ow. Is, uh, apparently, uh, you double tap one direction and you go... Like you said, every platform's an ice level. Yeah. So anyways, uh, this is Wolverine Animantium Rage. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of exactly what you're seeing right now in this game, and that's sitting around and uh, hoping your health will regenerate. Very very slowly, one percent every ten seconds. I oh, counted. Oh, so very very slowly. But um, Can there is an interesting aspect to this. Hmm. If uh, if you wait too long, uh, LCD will show up. LCD. LCD, yes. Look at crystal display. <laughs> yeah, close. Uh, LCD is uh, one of the one of um, the weird little villains uh, from from the Wolverine comics. Hmm. That's interesting. She actually goes hand in hand with Albert. 
Oh. The Android version of uh, Wolverine. Yeah, who we just talked about. She's a, uh, she was a... Alright, this is also why, um... Alright, I know I was trash-talking Donald Pierce earlier in this, but... Alright, I gotta give credit where it's due. Fair enough. Donald Pierce is this android that worked for uh, the Hellfire Club. And uh, what he did is he was creating other androids to fight Wolverine. Mm. That's why the Albert storyline would have worked really good in Logan, I thought. But, so he's creating these things. One of them is uh, Albert, uh, who was basically this very dumb basic AI android that was built to fight Wolverine. Mm -hmm. But he also built uh, this little girl robot, or android, that was, uh, it was basically a walking time bomb. Ooh. And its job was to lure Wolverine in and blow up. Ah. So it was like this two-pronged approach that he had. Well, LCD was a little too self-aware. Uh-oh. And uh, she realized that her, her main function was basically to uh, destroy herself to uh, pull off her mission. Yeah. So instead of, uh, instead of like just going through with what her mission was, she panicked and she's like, no, I need to figure out some different way around this because I don't want to die. Yeah. So she reprogrammed the Elbert android to be uh, super intelligent. Look, we're up to 50%. And that's actually where it gets his name as Elbert, is because it's. It, 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 I think she named it after Albert Einstein. Ah. So you have this, like, very sentient and, and very aware android that's a direct copy of Wolverine paired up with this, you know, this uh, self aware time bomb. Hmm. And, uh, I mean, it's still her mission to actually, if she can, blow up, but she doesn't want to do that, so... It's a really interesting story arc. Yeah, it definitely sounds very interesting. Yeah. She hasn't... Once again, oh, they could have used that for Logan, but they didn't. They decided to give us GMOs and yeah. high fructose corn syrup and Donald fucking Pierce. Yeah, and, and symbolism that's it's banged over your head. Oh, Jesus Christ, yes. And might I add, a, a very ham-fisted mesh, uh, a very ham-fisted uh, subtext about, you know, border security. Yeah. I thought that was a little, a little too on the nose, especially for the time. I mean, I don't know. I just didn't like the movie. I thought if they were going to go with, like, a sort of an old man Logan story, they should have, like, I don't know, maybe done something closer to it. The whole X-23 backstory that they had in the movie, I kind of... It's close to the comics, but it's not how it happened in the comics mm. sort of thing. Because Hollywood. Yeah. I remember I remember uh, when X-23 was first introduced, I actually remember 75%. reading the series of comics it was in. It was in... A series called NYX. NYX, like the makeup brand? Well, it, well, it was spelled the same way, but uh, <laughs> it was supposed to be about like the mutants that didn't end up in uh, Professor X's school for the gifted. Mm. Basically, kind of like the refuse. Yeah, and, the rejects. Um, one of these mutants that they kind of covered was um, this. Uh, well, X twenty three. Yeah. The 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 female clone of Wolverine. Mm hmm. And uh, it, it wasn't her as a little girl. It was her as, like, an adult because she was, uh, in the storyline, she was, like, this weird dominatrix that worked for this pimp. Huh. It, it was really weird because she, like, catered to, like, weird masochists. Huh. It was, okay. Uh, it was really weird. I mean, it, don't get me wrong. This was, like, the mid-2000s, so, like, comics were kind of trying to take on this darker, edgier tone at the time. There, the itch. All right, 90%. Yeah, we're almost 90%. there. Let's go try to take him out now. Yeah, we wasted enough of the audience this time. <laughs> oh, I think we're going to get him. Maybe. Got him. Got him. Take you and your blaster and go home. Tension, Wolverine. Logan. The key to past lies in Lady Deathstrike in Japan. Ah. Uh. 
Oh, great. Wolverine origins. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Alright. Uh, uh, yeah, game? I don't know if I'm... I guarantee if I hit a button, it's... Oh. Huh? No, okay, well, that's... Fair enough. That's all we get, folks. Oh, there we go. Wolverine boards a plane for Japan. He had a hell of a time trying to get through airport security. <laughs> yeah, he did. Even back then. <laughs> Sir, you can't take those knives on this plane. But they're they're going to my hands, bub. I can't remove them, bub. <laughs> Sir, you can't smoke your cigar on this plane. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. right. Time to fight ninjas. Because, you know... Japan just has bamboo forests full of ninjas. Oh, you know it. Tell me. Yeah, this is where the game shit hit detection really starts to show. Yeah. Yeah. Here to the woods. I'll put it this way, folks. I'll be fucking amazed if we make it through this level. That will be nothing short of a miracle. Get back here! Come on, Raiden! Fight me! <laughs> oh, there's a guy cr- there he is. Hi! Hello! Okay, ninjas with jetpacks. Yeah, jetpack ninjas. Yeah, that kind of uh, defeats the purpose of having stealth, wouldn't it? Just saying. Yep. Believe it or not, I'm actually hitting him. There we go. You just can't see it because, you know, reasons. Um, okay. Hi, hi stereotype music. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, fortune cookie always wrong. Yeah, and apparently it's, uh, it's a remix, and you know it's a re remix because it has scratching in it. Dee 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 dee. Wiki wiki. <laughs> And I, and I see bamboo spikes, so you know that's bad. Come on, come down here and see that. Which isn't that weird, like, little bit of music usually... Usually, isn't that, like, a stereotype for, like, China, not Japan? Uh, usually it's, it's China, yeah, but sometimes if they're really out of it, like, you know, this game is, they, it's sometimes used for Japan. But more often than not, it's used for China. Yeah, they're both over there in the east somewhere. Ugh. That and, uh, gongs. <laughs> I learned, too, like, if you ever want to really offend someone from Japan, <laughs> mistake them for Chinese. Oh, Oh, God. they do not like that. I can't blame them, though, because honestly, I don't like to be mistaken for, like, someone from the south. Yep, there it is. Da, 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 da. I wasn't hearing things. And it, there, there is scratching. Yeah, come down here and see that. There we go. Ow! Ooh, you jerk. Ow again. Oh, snap into a Slim Jim. There we go. You oh, boy. Fucker. Well, at least it's an earth crawling this time. There's no maintenance man in the hill here. All right, yeah, now we're that. going to frickin' Karate Kid territory here. Ah! <laughs> All right, bid. See what you... <laughs> you know, <laughs> Screw now it. you're gonna play your silly little game, that's what. Oh, we have an X-Ball. That not... just seems like it's all sorts of bad mojo, so we're not gonna do that. All right, go! Move! Dig! Boom! Oh, fuck. Oh. This is a fucking trilogy of bosses that is a goddamn nightmare to fight. Yeah, especially the hit detection in this game. Yes. These three are a goddamn nightmare. And this one's the worst. It looks like uh, that one guy from He-Man. Clawful? Fuck. 
Yes, we have Naked Guy, we have uh, that one dude from Ninja Turtles, and we have Clawful. Nice. I know, like, the secret to a few of these guys is, like, well, this guy, I think it's get him in the corner. Yeah, chump him. Oh, this guy. I fucking hate this guy. I all hate all these guys, honestly. Alright. Come here and say that, bub. Oh, man, he's got his claw back. Uh, you knocked one of his claws? Can't tell their claws are fans. <laughs> they're, uh, they're, they're bladed arms of some sort. I know that. Oh, he's hurting. Yeah, we're, he's gonna kill us. No. Oh. Come here, come on, bit. Come here, bit. Ooh, he's all spiky hands. Yeah, we don't stand much of a chance, trust me. This this boss has always been a goddamn nightmare, is what it is. Uh oh. Ah, uh, damn it. Well, that's it, folks. That's that's as far as we're gonna go. I can guarantee you. Hello, 90s font game over. Yeah. Uh, well, that was Adamantium Rage, and it is, yeah. It, pretty graphics, but awful fucking gameplay. Means it's pretty awful. LJN, I mean, this is. LJN. This is truly an LJN game. It's LJN's dirty fingerprints all over it. Oh, yeah. And as always, happy Merry Girlfriends to all of you. Thank you for watching. Have a. Uh, Thank you for watching, thank you for listening, have a good day, and my brain just farted. Yeah, it did. God damn you all, Jan. Ugh. Merry grumble, Miss folks. Bouncing through the snowdrifts in a big blue cloud of smoke. People laugh as I drive by, I wonder what's the joke. I got to get to Shopko to pick up the layaway. Cause Santa Claus is coming soon in his big old rusty sleigh. Oh, rust and smoke, the heaters broke, the door just blew away.